Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia, and welcome to The Ruin King, a League of Legends story. So this is one of the few single player games that Riot has been producing through the Riot Forge program, and this one is portraying the origin story of Viego, and how he has woken up after Thresh, the Warden of Souls, uh, activated his ruined uh, King Blade, and now the howling is starting. Uh, he is coming back to corrupt the land into ruination, and our story takes us to Bilgewater, which is the city here. Uh, our unlikely cast of League of Legends heroes will team up to take down the Ruined King, and this is quite an interesting game. I think the closest I can describe the playstyle is similar to Darkest Dungeons, uh, but not as grim and not as punishing, uh, but the combat style is very similar. And we're gonna jump in here and try this out. I'm pretty eager to play this. I've been waiting for this game to come out for a long time. And we can make a new profile. I'm gonna go with the Misfortune's guns just because it's prettier. And let's go. Ooh. So, story mode just to really enjoy the story. Let's call it easy. Mild challenges. Normal. Veteran. Good for classic turn based RPG fans. Want a more challenging combat encounter or heroic, enemies are very difficult and combat encounters will put your abilities and resources to the test. Enchantment and item management is a must. Hmm. Let's go all the way, why not? Begin a new game on heroic difficulty. You can change difficulty at any time. Sure. Down the watery grave of Pike. In Bilgewater, monsters are real. When I was a girl, my mother was murdered by a low-life coward named Gangplank. He shot me and left me for dead. There was no trial. In Bilgewater, he was the law. I hunted him. I killed his men. I watched Gangplank die, washed away on the burning tide. There are still monsters about. For centuries, the Buru people have protected these islands from the worst of them. But even they fear the heroines. Attacks in the form of a lethal black mist, courtesy of our unliving neighbors on the Shadow Isles. Each time, the heroines return stronger, while the Buru grow distant. How long can we rely on prayers and magic? My monsters are flesh and blood. They don't frighten me. Only one thing does. Becoming one of them. So we got a bit of Miss Fortune's background story. She was the narrator there, and we're now at her Fortune estate, so her home in Bilgewater. Uh, her mother died as a kid. She became a bounty hunter hunting gangplank. It's almost quiet from up here. If only I didn't know better. Good morning, Captain. Your guest has arrived. Graffin, remember when we could just take what we wanted, go where we wanted? We didn't have a care in the world. Now look at us. Taking appointments, attempting diplomacy. Well, at least our line of diplomacy still involves guns. That may be true. But when he was Reaver King, Gangplank only used guns. If I unite the gangs with violence, will the city still think of me as a savior? Gangplank was a tyrant, Sarah. You're tough, but you aren't cruel. I'm proud to be your first mate, and the rest of the crew is proud to call you our captain. The gangs will follow you. It's only a matter of time. They can't follow me if they're dead. Hopefully I can change their minds before they're all wiped out. 
Some dogs won't obey until you show them the stick. Well then, let's not keep Captain Thorn waiting any longer. Looks like we're going to have a game negotiation. Alright, we can move the character with D. Ah, so WSD. And then sprint. Okay. We have health, we have mana. We have items, we have abilities. Let's see how... How do we interact with items, though? Ah! Just a mouse click? Okay. What about over here? Nope. Okay, we're gonna get, get the hang of the game. That looks like a treasure chest. Ooh, scan environment. That chest can be interacted with. Five moderate health potions, 50 income. That's the way to go. Anything else around? Ooh. Lots of goodies. Unfortunately, you can't really do anything with that one. Looks tempting. Nothing to report, Captain. in my chest. Killing Gangplank wasn't enough, Rathen. But you beat him. You're still breathing. And he's in little pieces all over the bottom of the ocean. Those bullets are just little reminders. I wish they didn't remind me so damn much. Well, from my understanding of leak lore, I believe Ilaoi, uh, the borough priestess who we'll meet soon, actually revives Gangplank. I think they were lovers. So, Gangplank's not actually entirely dead. Anything down this hall that I can... Ooh. Big door. I should probably just continue the story, but it's kind of interesting to visit Boldwater. Oh, we did follow him. Alright, guess we didn't take the other routes. Been doing some remodeling. What can I say? The place needed a woman's touch. I don't think the previous owner would mind. Guess not. Seeing as how you gunned him down, along with the rest of the conclave. Are you here to parlay, Captain Thorne, or to criticize my sense of decor? I trust you've considered my offer. Offer? Hand over my operations to you, my fleet, and all of my men, or else... Huh. Misfortune. You may have killed Gangplank, stolen his fancy mana, but that don't make you my queen. From where I'm standing, it looks like Bilgewater is still up for grabs. Now give it up, girl. You know I'd hate to ruin that pretty face. So much for diplomacy. You know, Raffin, I think I'm starting to enjoy it. Multi-way battle. Okay, we can learn the combat basics. You initiate a combat encounter when engaging enemies in the world and a major story moments. Fighter card display key stats such as level, health, and mana. The initiative bar displays the order in which the fighters will perform actions. When a fighter's portrait reaches the front of the initiative bar, it is their turn. So it's our turn right now. 
When it is your fighter's turn, you can perform one of the many combat abilities. Instant abilities do not cost mana and are performed immediately after confirming a target. Lane abilities cost mana and require time to cast. Oh, so this bar is not just order, but also time. Pay attention to the fighter's turn order when selecting abilities. Okay. Complete this way of combat by defeating all enemies. So we start strut. Oh, that is our, let's see, instant versus lane abilities. So if I do an instant ability, I also have potions, I guess? Doesn't let me hover to take a look. Do I have to click? I, okay. Deals 55 damage, generates 10 overcharge, applies tapped. Reduce all damage taken by 40%, increase evasion by 10%, while fancy footwork is active, strut is not removed upon taking damage. We have strut currently active. Um, typically it's a pass, I mean in League, it's a passive for Misfortune to have increased speed and uh, attack speed as well if you activate it. Shredder Balance deals 124 damage split randomly over 6 seconds. Double Up Balance deals 69 damage to the target and 69 damage to a nearby target. If the first target is defeated, the second shot will deal additional 34 damage. Both hit apply tapped. Deals 150 damage. If the target has tapped, deal 242 instead and consumes the tap. So I would like to tap my enemies and then use Heartbreaker on them to do massive amount of damage. I think we start with the instant, see how many instant, I mean, I also kind of want to see what this does. Okay, pulls up our potion. Flee, combat speed, quick strike, hold. I would like to see, like, what is my passive and all of that. Because strut currently, like, what is strut doing for me? I have no clue. Let me just tap them real quick. Oh, so our instant moved us up this much. Okay. I can't kill him even with him tapped. But I can hit him with this. I wouldn't be able to defeat him. It'd be 69 to each. And... The amount of time you see that it takes to use these, quite long. Maybe another instant and tap the other one. So we can see the tap is applied. Or I can just reduce damage evasion by 10 while well, fancy footwork is active. Strut is not removed upon taking damage. This is strut, I think. I don't know what it's doing for us, but perhaps we do this for now since our turn's about to end. Or at least our water is about to end. Oh, they're just gonna chat. Okay, alright, they're just giving us an easy time to learn combat. That's the case. I don't mind popping his tapped. Because then I can use double up on him and burst the other guy for more damage. And also tap the guy. Never mind, they will do damage. Oh, because I moved back. That's fine. We lost whatever Strut was doing for us. They do take it easy, though. Alright, we're gonna double up through him, get the kill. Two forty seven though. It's still a lot. I can't burst him with one move. I have to instant him. I got struck back. He's ready to tap, but this doesn't kill him. Right, so we'll take an instant.
Okay. He chills, we kill. He gets to attack us in between this, I believe? Combat will end in defeat if your entire party's health reach zero. Manage your health wisely to keep them fighting. Captain Thorn. Generate overcharge by performing certain instant abilities, yes. And then what? Overcharge acts like a temporary bonus mana that can be used to cast laying abilities during the encounter only. When you are low on mana, generate overcharge and stay in the fight. I see. Okay, that makes it clear. Pretty sure we want to just tap him first. He has a lot of health. Wonder how much damage he can deal. Oh! Okay. That was quite a lot of burst. We need to combo this twice to kill him, I think. He has to reload. That's good news. That hurt. Whatever he did. Same thing, I guess? We just combo him one more time and just finish him off? Tapped also does 17 extra damage. Can I heal outside of combat? That's another question. But anyways, he dies here. Let's try this, just to see what it looks like. It's probably like the E ability on Misfortune in-game. Rain's bullet from above? Oh no, actually no. More like the ult. Got some gold, white essence, variety of common ingredient used for enchanting. Picked up some experience. Cool. I'll consider this your formal surrender. The Syndicate will never follow you. You hear me, tyrant? I'll die first. I see. How about you boys? Does your captain speak for you all? Well then, Captain Thorne. I'd say this meeting is adjourned. The rest of you, welcome to my crew. Prove yourselves loyal and you'll be rewarded. Betray me, or even whisper the name Gangplank, and I'll stuff you in a box with your former captain. Understood? Yes, Captain. Another successful recruitment. Minus a few stubborn holdouts, the Syndicate's with us now. Their ships, their guns... But none of their leaders. Not yet. Even if I have to put a bullet in every captain from the shipyards to the slaughter docks, I will make them understand. Bilgewater belongs to Sarah Fortune. Good news is we are healed. Beware the enemy has a buff called Primed Mist Bomb that will detonate and hurt your party upon death unless it is first disarmed with a speed lane ability. When selecting lane abilities, you can switch from the default balance lane to speed lane or power lane using the lane up and lane down buttons. Okay. 
Performing an ability in the speed lane, the top one, will reduce its cast time so it can be performed more quickly but with weaker impact. Performing ability in the power lane will increase its cast time, take longer to perform, but with stronger impact. Pay attention to each enemy's mechanic and use lane switching to gain the upper hand during combat. Interesting. So let's first take a look at how we shift lanes. Scroll wheel up, scroll wheel down. Okay. But how are the da- oh, okay, the damage is different. And we have to disarm her with a speed lane move first, or else she explode on us. Prime Miss Bomb on death deals heavy damage to all champions. A speed lane attack will disarm the bomb. Well, this one makes the most sense. Doesn't leave her tap though. 199. We'll start with the instant. A simple love tap. So it actually does 72 damage each time. Double slash. Kinda looks like Katarina. Um, the thing is, the speed lane isn't gonna kill her. But I guess that's fine. This takes way too long. This is quick. 112. Let's just do this. She still gets to go first before us, I think. Only 22 damage. He's spelled. Okay. That prime miss bomb is gone. The last 90... thing with instant is she'll get to go anyways after me with this distant right now. We would just use up some mana, assuming I get to heal that back up. This would kill her. Cost 20. Do we want to speed lane anything? What about power lane? Hmm. Well, I'll just use this again. Dense mana crystals used for enchanting. Saphalite dust used for enchanting. Guess there's gonna be a pretty complicated enchanting system. The black mist. How is this possible? Wait, I can't scan? Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. You have entered a combat encounter while standing in a hazard called Poison Mists. This has created a hazard initiative bar region that will travel along with the fighter portrait. Fighters in your party that are inside the region will be targeted. Once the region reaches the front of the bar, it will apply its effect to any of your fighters that are currently targeted. Luckily, you can use your lane abilities to switch lanes and maneuver in and out of the initiative bar zone. Ah. They control your further placement initiative bar. So basically we can use like a longer or shorter laying ability to move ourselves past this area. Right? That's like no good. As long as we don't stay in. Okay, what if I just instant this first? 
I still get to make a move after. Against two enemies. I still want to tap someone. But can I tap him? Transfer essence on death. Increase attack power of all allies by 25% for three turns. So I guess I have to kill her first. Ah, uh, lucky us. Magic Thunder. I guess we lose magic resist. Poison? Okay, that's new. I don't like how I can't see the actual effect when hovering. Unless there's like a... Ah, Inspector Mode. There is something to take a look at here. Increase magic taken by 10%. Increase physical taken by 10%. Six points of true damage each tick. Well, that's just great. Okay, alright. So we can check. Time to use a speed lane ability. Um, 199 consume tap. We could do the spaces away from that. I don't mind random. I just need a little bit of damage on her. Like five. That's perfect. She's still tapped, no target. He's still thunder and magic thunder, so there's two separate things. And we take more damage and we're still getting poisoned. So it stacks, I guess? I'm trying to inspect this again. Ah. It's not really saying it's stacking, it's still six. Maybe they refresh the turn, perhaps? Anyways, I have the move to kill her now. So she's already got debuffed. 150... 152. I would have to use this. A speed lane won't be good enough to kill her. She gets to move before that, though. But that's already the speed lane variant. Oh, actually? She didn't do anything, so... Wait, how is she not dead? I'm a bit confused. I thought she was gonna die. Okay... 199, right? Unless her tap disappeared before I did that? 112, 124. They have 150s plus, right? I should just probably double tap. Or actually, if I play it safe, I should just do a regular attack. Just love tap her, kill her, and then worry about the skull later. That way, she doesn't get another move. 122. We kill we kill him. This is fine. He gets a move, but then we don't get trapped in the zone. Ow. This is the zone. That's another zone. That's clearly an enemy. We didn't even see them coming. I'm alright, a muggle and I'll be good as new. So get off the zone. He's coming, fight him outside the zone. Just a sorrowful wisp. So we don't get a heal in between this type of combat. I see.
I can probably just speed lane this. He still gets to go before me, unless I do this. See, this doesn't work. I have to use this to kill him. And he just basically gets to go before me. I mean, basically he gets hit us twice. This is going to be like 25 or 18. It's going to be more than 16 because the thunder is activated. Alright, we gotta check if we can actually use potions outside combat, because we're gonna need it right now. Unless we don't. That's our bag, right? Oh? Zero? Zero's inventory, okay. Moderate heals for two. Yeah, we'll use that. And mana heals for 20. One thirty. We don't need that one. Okay, someone's asking for help. Do I have to go into the mist zone? Ah, uh, they're forcing us to fight in here. Unless, no, no, unless. Spectral Wharf Rat. That's a rat? My gosh. You've entered a combat encounter with a Spectral Wharf Rat. These enemies have Shifting Form buff, which enhances their ability to evade your attack, but can be dispelled by attacking it with a Speed Line ability. Important buff description will be displayed in the combat interface. These buff require deeper strategy to overcome. While in Inspect mode, you can navigate between the Initiate Bar and the Fighter cards to get details and abilities and active buffs and debuffs. Be sure to inspect enemies during encounters to learn more about their strength and weaknesses. Alright, so let's do that. Uh, deals light damage with Spectral Bite. Spectral How. Increase attack power and haste for all allies. Last two turns has long cooldown. All non-speed lane attacks have 15% chance to miss. Dispel when hit with a speed lane attack. So just basically hit him with a speed lane first. Deals light magic damage. Apply both thunder and magic thunder. 10% on death increase attack power of all allies. Okay, all right. That is clear. We're gonna start with this on the speed lane just so that we can get rid of that debuff or the buff that he has. Ouch. Let's see what light damage is. We didn't do anything. What is strut? I'm curious. Increase haste by 5% per stack, remove if damage is taken. So just passive, we get it every time. We basically move faster on this line. Okay. Alright, so we should go back to instant. Move us away from this. Get a tap on him. I could also keep strut, basically. Increase our evasion. Let's actually invest in this. Against two enemies, I think it's gonna be worth it. Miss! Oh, come on. He got the buff on the damage. He's go twice? Okay, let's see what we can do with him. 228. We're just gonna have to tap him, I think. Also gives us a little bit of mana for the future attacks. From the overcharge. It's, he's fast. He gets to go quite often. And the thunder is stacking up quite heavily in terms of damage we're taking. Alright, let's kill him. I need 150 something damage. He's currently tapped. I don't want to... Hmm. The thing is, I don't want to be inside, but I also don't want them to get another move. And that's just not possible now, is it? I have to do a balanced heartbreaker to kill him, basically. He gets to go again before that. Okay, fine. 
Another Thunder. We're taking a lot more damage. Another 10% stack. That didn't hurt us much. Good. Alright, time to kill this little thing. 165. He's gonna get to go anyways. I could tap and then just shoot him. Or we can use... This saves mana. We gotta do this. He can't kill us. He does like 30 damage at most, I think, with the stacking. 25. Okay. Now he dies. Speed lane? That we're gonna go before him? I wonder how much potions cost, because we're going to chugging. We're going to be chugging quite a few. For sure. Where's Raffin? He was just here. He could have gone far. Thank God for the captain. I thought I was done for. Ooh, five moderate potion. That's good. Anything else in this room? Nope. Alright, we're gonna start taking a few potions. Do something 139. Let's do a 139 real quick. And then 243 works out just right. Only gonna need a few potions on mana. Maybe two. Our last one. We'll save it in case this mission like ends and we get a heal. Gotta save Raffin though, so sh expect one more fight. Raffin, what happened? Run! Leave me! Double Hound. Okay, we're gonna have to just start with the speed lane, shredder, get rid of their bonus, but... Oh... Let's do this then. All right, we, we don't want to end in the mist, but we still want to do a speed lane attack on both of them. So double up would be the solution here. Ah, uh, increase attack. Increase attack. Great. And then they attack me. We're just gonna get the tap on them first. And then burst them. One, uh, see that speed lane doesn't work for us. We don't. We don't need to do speed lane. Perhaps we should do this. Try to get some damage on them. The tap is wasted though. But like, I don't know how I can use the tap to my advantage. I can't use this to kill him fast. I got to take damage anyway. So perhaps I just want to do this. Make sure we kill one. Yeah. Let's make sure he dies. What? That's the second time that the damage doesn't come as expected. Unless the tap just goes out before we get a chance to do it. And that's really sad. Let's do this, because we'll be able to do the damage before they do damage, and the chance of us killing one, the 24 one, should be fairly high. There we go. Fairly high. Hmm. I care about health more than mana, so I'm just going to shoot him. 
wait, he goes be right, he goes before me if I use a lay ability. So he's gonna go anyways, therefore I should love tap him. I should love tap him twice, actually. I hope this is the last fight in this mission segment. We're going to the slaughter dock to look for the Buru Priestess, Ilawi. Brothers and sisters, a new enemy has risen in Bilgewater. The goddess Nagakaboros has shown him to me. Reveal him to us, truth bearer. This Blood Harbor Ripper butchers men in their homes and in the streets. I can sense the fear, the stagnation he brings. We honor the Mother Serpent by restoring motion and driving him out. Praise the Goddess. Truth better. I wish to fight for you. I am ready. Are you? If you fight with everything you have, the Mother Serpent may name you worthy. If not, she will take your life. I surrender to her will. He is strong, Priestess. He may live. Perhaps, if the Goddess wills it. Come, our enemy awaits. So, a nice little introduction to Yulawi. We'll talk about her next time. Bye.